Hey, did you catch last episode? Izzy and I redid some of the caulking on the boat. We got the bow done. We're not quite finished yet, but it's going to be good to get this done. Hey everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot, and I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it would be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. School was coming up and Josh got a job at a pub, so he needed some nice clothes. So we headed over to Twaston Mills to do a little bit of shopping. Of course, we could not resist riding the stuffies around the mall. Josh had the slow one, so he tried to lift it to catch up with Izzy. That didn't work too well. Our boat is a friggin' mess! <laughs> so it's work weekend. It's actually a long weekend, Labor Day weekend. And you're probably going to be watching this in October, because that's how the show goes. Izzy is right there, and she's been watching a heck of a lot of anime. She hasn't done the dishes, which she has to do. Um, we just had the pump-up boat, so the whole place smells like sewage right now. The galley's a mess. We get stuff everywhere. My flooring that I'm going to put on Josh's walls are down there. Um, it's a bit windy out. It's supposed to rain, so I can't rip up more caulking. So we're going to put the bar back together. Do you remember that bar I was working? We have so many projects going on all the time, Blaine. So remember that bar I was working on a long time ago? We're going to put it back together now, Blaine and I. Let's do it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. And maybe get the fridge. Make it happen. That's supposed to be on the aft deck. Oh, oh the main salon. But yes, that is the scoop. What do you think, Izzy? And what are you going to do, Izzy? Besides start high school Nothing. in four days. Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. What do you have to do in the galley? Nothing. <laughs> what are you going to clean? Nothing. <laughs> Anybody else have teenagers out there? Like, seriously, how do you get them to, you know, do dishes? Not paying you to do dishes. Oh, why not? Get up. No. <laughs> okay, let's go do the bar. Need the little blade thing, right, for cutting? Okay, I want to show you another issue we had. So I learned this trick when I was on the uh, mega yachts. What happens is these get stripped. So I use a bit of epoxy and toothpicks. And so these were, yeah, the, the holes were too big. They're stripped, right? I couldn't get the screws back in them. So I epoxied toothpicks in them. It gives something for the screws to grab. And then I'm just going to cut them off probably with the Japanese saw or with the um, reciprocating saw. And then the screws will have something to grab and it'll be good as new. Good trick to use, toothpicks. It fits perfectly. I had rebuilt the whole bar, so I was extremely glad that it fit into this original spot. A few notches had to be cut to fit it around the door. You did it! Oscillating tools, one of the best inventions known to man. And then it was time to put on the brand new stainless steel piano hinge, so the top could lift up. My muscles are so out of shape. I hate getting old. Of course, on a boat, nothing yeah. ever fits the first time. Screw more screws. But it wasn't long before we were putting the final touches back on the bar. Guess what's going back up on the bar? So we have our Guinness bottle opener and the spirit lockers back, Blaine. Yay! Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. That's awesome. It just needs some polish. Does it though? Should we polish it? Izzy, what state room are you in? What's it called? One of them. Which one? I don't know. 
Port or starboard? Uh, port. I think. Which side is port? Left. Woohoo! Which side is starboard? Right. Her bedroom is actually the starboard stateroom. She gets mixed up downstairs. So the other thing I had to do is when I took the wallpaper off, um, there was like a skim coat of something on here and then there's wood, so it's not working. So I thought I would just try epoxy and just put a skim coat on it. Let's see what happens. This is epoxy we used below. I had lots of epoxy and I hate seeing it to waste. So let's see what happens here. Come in. Then I can sand it. This might work. And it might smooth out the wall. I think this might work. Smell that? It smells like paint. Are you getting high? No, it just smells horrible. It's not, it's it's epoxy filler and it reeks this whole boat. I really like this is a big area for us too. The people who fiberglass in smaller areas get high. high. Stinks, Blaine. Yeah. Not out here though. Are you getting high? And once the bar was up, we got the fridge out of the main salon. So we just moved the fridge out here. Izzy's just wiping it out and then she's loading it, making it nice and organized with our sodas and beer. It's really For $10. Nice. <laughs> Izzy wants a job at McDonald's. I said no, because what happens if she gets a, McDonald's, a job at McDonald's, which is great, I have to drive her all the time. Plus she's just starting high school. So we're kind of doing a deal where she is thinking of jobs she can do and she's bidding on them here in order to make some money around the house. Works for me. She's learning how to be an entrepreneur. And I don't have to drive her. <laughs> so we are heading into Todd Inlet. We had visitors yesterday Yep. from um, MV McKenna Kai. Kai. Yes. It, MV McKenna Kai. But yep. they have a great YouTube channel too. And what's really cool is they cruise all around the Pacific Northwest and they show cruisers these awesome spots in the Gulf Islands and in the national parks around here. And they do so, some really amazing aerial shots as oh, well. Oh, yes. They don't sink their drone. No. But yeah, check out their channel below. Subscribe. It's right there. But we're heading over to their boat right now to get a tour. They have a dog named Dory and I think Maggie's excited. Oh, look at her. Oh my gosh, Maggie. <laughs> to Kai. Say right? Yes. <laughs> that way! Motor vessel McKinnikai. Motor vessel Mc... Motor vessel versus motor yacht. Something different. Are we I a motor yacht or a motor vessel? I hear people talk about it all the time. And I, have, I have no input on that. When we worked at Lady Diane, she was motor yacht. But then she was 100 feet. That seems a bit more pretentious, so I don't know if but then I've heard yachts are above a certain length, so it's not. So what are we gonna grow? Are we gonna be motor vessel or motor yacht? Comment below, what do you guys think? Motor vessel or motor yacht? We're not really a pretentious couple. We're so not far from pretentious. Not so much. We have a toilet in our house. That's how far from pretentious we are. We have a nice toilet in our house. <laughs> okay, it's a nice toilet, but it's still a toilet in the wheelhouse. <laughs> Why we're not going to 
with the... It doesn't go fast. You do this with the, what do you call it? The throttle. The throttle and it goes... That's a job for you. Guess what? We're on board MV Mechanic Guy. Okay, this is Matt. This is Kelly. This is McKenna. Yes, the boat is named after her. And that's Hunter. He's hiding. However, you gotta check out their channel. It's awesome. Like seriously, if you want to know the best places to cruise around Pacific Northwest, subscribe down below right now. Because, like, and sorry, your drone footage is amazing. I was watching it like we sink drones, he can actually fly them and they're really cool. You didn't so, see the one oh. <laughs> so guys, go check it out, support them, subscribe. We really appreciate it. When Matt and Kelly came over yesterday and Hunter and McKenna and everybody came, he said he has a margarita machine, a margarita, bleh, margarita machine and a lot of ice. This I want to see. Da, 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 da. I feel like we should be doing um, it's kind of like an unboxing. No. Can you sing it? <laughs> Where did we go? I can't even. No, not that one. Wasting away good. again in Margaritaville. <laughs> Searching for a lost shaker of salt. And yes, I'm like this all the time and I drive easy that. crazy. <laughs> yes. Well, check not out this. Dizzy. This is it. Whoa. What made you get this thing? Having a boat? <laughs> okay. Stand by. We'll let you know how it goes. Are you ready for the taste test? Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Blake. Awesome. Next part of Janice's birthday weekend. Oh, yeah, we may have forgotten to mention that I turned 50 this weekend. We are going to downtown Victoria, and yes, it's been home forever, but we're going on a food tour. I love food tours. It's so much fun. Oh, look at Maggie. She's on the bow going, wait, what about me? She doesn't look too happy. <laughs> it's raining. Very nice umbrella you have here. going on a food tour. Traffic was a bit rough, so we're like, it's not really that abnormal for us. <laughs> we're close. So the food tour people, we're going what, off the beaten track? Off, off the Eaton track. Off the Eaton track, sorry. They just called us asking where we were. So Chris is driving, she's just gonna drop us off, Lane and I off real fast, and then they'll go find parking. But since we live in Victoria, we'll just tell them the first place, which way we're walking, they'll catch up. Oh, oh, that's, that's because look at, vaccine saves lives, ignorance kills. Welcome to Victoria, where there's always a protest. No oh, vaccine passport is on this side. <laughs> vaccine is on this side. Oh, no vaccine. Oh, powder keg. No 
it's vaccine. No, no, it's all no vaccine. It's all no vaccine. No. Sorry. Hi. Do you see what's going on over there? It's a little crazy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. You guys Sorry. made it. So welcome to Victoria where there's almost a protest every weekend. So we had the protest against Fairy Creek when we were down here in Canada Day and now we have the anti-vaxxers protesting. You know what, everybody has a freedom to, you know, protest, do what they want, say their beliefs and this is what's happening in Victoria right now. Vaccinations and we're out here with a whole bunch of anti-vaccinated people. Which really sniff. Our first stop on the food tour was the artisan wine shop. Here they showed us how to properly taste test wine. So now we just went to Crust Bakery and Bonnie, 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 is it Bonnie? It's Bonnie, right? Brenda. Brenda. Damn. Brenda's bringing us some treats from Crust. Love Crust Bakery. Thank you. So Blaine and I love creme brulee. And so from Crust Bakery, I ate the sausage roll already, but this is, what is this? It's like a, I don't know what it is. Next stop was the Bao Sandwich Shop. Oh, this looks amazing. Thank you very much. I love the bread. Thanks. The bread is just a lovely baguette that, I don't know, met a beautifully, the softest bun I ever had. And it's just a uh, half a sandwich, I think, is the best strategy for Ooh. now, which used to be the owner's favorite. The other favorite use, uh, the most popular used to be the grilled pork, but lemongrass chicken has overtaken Pork. I don't know whether that's just because we come by. Mm. He has, uh, they good. have actual customers who come in and don't even swipe. Next stop on the tour was Bull and Sons Delicatessen. This is amazing. We are at our charcuterie. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. I don't know. I'll take that one. Oh, yeah. All good. Uh, one, two, three. Thank you very much. Thank you. They even had scotch eggs, and I had not had one since Antigua. Oh, look at that. They also smoked all their own meat here, which was amazing. Uh, apricot. This is a mole taco. Next stop was La Taqueria for mole tacos. From La ta How do you say this place? La, ta 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 La, tica La Tiquisaria. La Tiquisaria. I don't know. La Tiquisaria. I don't know, but it's like... Mole, 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 mole. What's that movie from? Mole, 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 mole. His mole taco uh, is so good. Mole the like, seriously. There are Mexican grandmothers living in the mm. Next stop was SH91 Party Tea Shop for cream cheese tea. Sweet Thank you. and bitter together. <coughs> this is a rose oolong, so it'll be a bit floral. Salty, sweet, and bitter all it's together. It's gonna act like hot chocolate with whipped cream on top, but it's gonna taste a little bit like carrot cake. Carrot cake icing. Carrot cake icing. <laughs> so carrot cake icing on the top. Rose oolong tea on the bottom. That Those is interesting. Of you who've never had a beer. Put your top lip in, suck a little bit so you get foam and suck tea. Suck a little bit, foam and tea. Not just beer foam. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Sweet, but then a little tea. This moment because Chris it's like and I actually really like to have tea, tea when we're full, so it's actually pretty good. All these savories, I just think it's tea could be a little And the last stop of our oh, yeah. off the eating track full. food tour yeah. was Bon Macaron. Oh, now's the choice. Okay. Well, bacon, please. Absolutely. I've had that before and it's really good. And oh, so this is a tough one. 
Yeah, I'm going to try the um, salted caramel. Perfect. Mm -hmm. oh, my. oh, look at Oh, yum, yum, yum. And to end my 50th birthday weekend, we went to Clive's for cocktails. We're at Clive's and we're looking at, they have all the amazing cocktails. And Blaine was saying, hey, I'm going to have the, what's it called? The, the high class bouquet. And it has, what Sounds is it? interesting, you know, I've never had it before. Hennessy, E.H. Taylor, rye, what is Benedictine, it? Benedictine, Carpano, Antique, Barrel Age, Peychaud's. Peychaud's. So, that oh, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll try it. And I looked at the price of it. <laughs> That's a $200 drink. <laughs> wow. What can we buy on the not, boat for 200 bucks that we don't just pee out? Um, literally anything. Literally. Yeah, like it's almost new stuff for the water maker. Yeah. New memories. Maybe new memories. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, $200 for a drink. Yeah, not, not for me. No.